This meeting of the Dunstan Select Board to order. And our first item of business is to approve the minutes of our previous meeting, which was on September 18th. I'll move to approve the, the minutes of the September 18th meeting. Yeah, I'll second. You're the only one that can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Good thing That's you spoke I delayed out. for a second. Good thing you spoke out, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstentions? Abstentions. Two. Yes, two. Okay. Um, so we have warrants that um, some people would like us to approve, and they include Warrant 7, 7P, Cemetery Fund. Um, and the capital fund. I would move approval of warrants 7, 7P, um, and the warrants for the cemetery and capital funds. Second. Discussion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? No. Well, we'll move on to. Uh, Recognition of visitors and public comments. Visitor. Visitor. <laughs> no comments. Inquisitor. Right <laughs> Inquisitor. I like that better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the road foreman's report. I understand Lee's not here today. No, he's not coming. Okay. Um, there was uh, Matt Mann's response to Lori uh, asking about the study, when was the last study, traffic study on Route 5 around the KOA, Schoolhouse Road, um, and he responded that there hadn't been one. So, I, I think it would be the whole best to have one done if there's no cost to us. Um, it would be information, maybe it'd be handy to have. I'll make that it would be point. cost to somebody. I'd, I'd be against that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's, I mean, they went up Route 5, they had to have done something because they went up to Route 5 and they stopped after the KOA for 40, mm -hmm. when they changed it down to 40 all the way through there. And then you go right into a passing zone, which is visible for quite some distance. I just don't see any need to be spending any taxpayers' money, whether it's Dummerston's or the state's or anything to do a traffic study there. I, we, I, don't, I haven't heard of any real accidents there. Um, and I, I mean, it's, it's open. You can see, when you come over the hill, you can see. If we, have a, if we have an issue of speeding by the KOA, I would say we call the state police or the sheriff's department and ask them to sit there for a few days. They've, they've been sitting up at the uh, Dutton Pines. Right. I don't know yeah. whether somebody called them on their own to have them sit there, but I would rather just call the state police and say, hey, can you sit here? We, we've had, you know, complaints that people are picking up speed. What's your thought about uh, just the intersection where Schoolhouse Road comes out? I don't think there's a, a real need for that. I just, I, I mean, I, I, you, the visibility again is is there. I, mean, I, I come out that road every single day. The visibility is, you've got plenty of visibility, and I've never myself. I've seen an accident there, and I've never come close or anything. I mean, I, and I do that every single day. 
The, the current stopped there the other day, and a young person crossed the road. I wonder if we could get them to stop up on top of the hill, because that was pretty dangerous. There was school buses. No, there wasn't either. It was for them. But there was a car stopped on one side of the road. The bus stopped in the middle of the road, and a child ran what? across the road. Well, the current sometimes will stop right in the middle of Schoolhouse Road. They'll block yeah. off the road. I wish they'd stop up top. I know we're changing the subject slightly, but it is traffic in that area. It'd be a lot safer if they pulled over by Jack Mannix's cornfield there and got off the road. And... Right. But that were slightly off topic, but I thought that was rather dangerous. So nobody seconded my motion, so we, we can leave it at that, too. Well, I agree with Lewis. I agreed at the last meeting. I agree again. I think it's an enforcement issue. It does say 50 past the KOA. And if people are going 55 before that, that's an enforcement issue. Of course, they won't enforce just five miles over the street. Well, that's the state right. police. I was hoping uh, that the sheriffs were doing Route 5, so we could continue to go 50 the whole way, but it's the state <laughs> police, and I'm not going to test that one out. Somebody else can do that. <laughs> Let me know how it works out for them, and then we can decide. I'll have your back. Right, right behind you. Yeah. 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 Don't we have... Money in our budget for bail money? <laughs> yeah. Not for some. Some people. Yeah. Okay. Right. Not everyone. Thank Not you. everyone. Okay, so mm. shall we move on? <coughs> All right. Um, the V Trans Transportation Alternatives Program. Did that get anybody uh, motivated to attend the meeting? Or? I thought it sounded interesting too. I think Joan mentioned too, but I um, yeah. just don't know if we can make it around. Well, I would like to go, but I believe in Springfield it's the same night as our meeting. Mm. It is on the 16th. That happens a lot. That there are things that are intriguing and might be helpful, but mm -hmm. we're scheduled at a time. It's... We could let you uh, do it if you like and report back to us and not hold it against you. <laughs> right. Do we have any other appointments coming up? <laughs> No. Yeah, no, we got some jobs we need select board members to do, so yeah. Um, I'm not crazy about driving to Springfield oh, on, okay. a, on a Wednesday night. I mean, you know, especially since I missed an hour of the last meeting, I'm really feeling rather behind, yeah. so. But thank you. Okay. Well, it just seems to be. You think we should have somebody there? Uh, no, I don't think it's that important, but especially considering my interest in, you know, cycling and whatnot. I, I, was, I, I wonder if they were. Yeah, I got noticed both through the Vermont League of Cities and Towns yeah. and also through the Bicycle and um, was a Bike Pet Coalition. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other colleagues in that that might be attending? <clears throat> I don't know. Alice Charks sent it out, and I, mm -hmm. I suspect she sent it to a lot of different folks, so I don't know if anyone else in the bike community would, would be uh, heading up there. Somebody that might be willing to report back to you? I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I can. Yeah, I will see I if I can talk it up. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Does Alice go to those? Uh, she might. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you, you you might see her, right? Yeah, I haven't seen her this year, this no, school okay. year. Yeah, yeah, that's unusual. Okay. But if I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, the upcoming public hearings hosted by. Vermont Transportation Board. Other business? Where is that? Why can I never find these things? Um, it's under road reforms. Road. Okay. There's a little to talk about it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I saw Lee on our road this morning, and I was on my skinny tires, and he was in the process of grieving. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <I> <laughs> and I said, Lee, I just want you to know it's a little tricky. <laughs> he said, I know, especially on those tires. <laughs> he said, Take the water. <laughs> so this is going to be, well, um, that was a daytime meeting, wasn't it? 6 p.m. Oh, in, in Springfield mm -hmm. on uh, October 16th. Really? Which is the next one. Two meetings no. on... Yeah. I think there's another sheet in there, man, isn't there? That's... 
Um, I thought one of them was going to be an Ayn Rand. Yeah, yeah, so the yeah I know. <laughs> they fought all the pieces. <laughs> I thought one was an interactive alternative. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah? Okay. Well. Um, one broad transportation yes. might be a, 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 an appropriate time to say that I did attend the, um, the meeting on the, uh, the park and ride, and I thought that Hugh Warden did an exemplary job, you know, re um, chairing the um, or act as acting chair of the DRB at that meeting. And it was uh, <coughs> I followed up with an email, but um, what changed what changed my mind, Steve? I know you were there also. Thank you. Was that um, uh, I guess I thought uh, he was the only one that went. Yeah, no. That, uh, well, it was a big turnout, as you know. Uh, uh, but um, Randy Zider said that I guess uh, upwards of you know these ten people every day are parking at the Putney Inn and using it as a parking ride, and that kind of changed my mind. I've used it for years. Right. She said some people actually have asked permission. <laughs> I used to. Yeah. The interactive TV um, <clears throat> informational workshops have already gone by. They were September 17th and 24th. Uh -huh. so. Let's skip that. Let's skip that. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, um, I actually, while well, we're on traffic, and when I, yeah. would, you, would it be appropriate if we asked the current to stop Further up, rather than at the end of Schoolhouse Road, would that be an appropriate request from the select board? Or I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think I thought it was kind of a dangerous situation because they don't have the flashing lights like a school bus and whatnot. He stops in many different spots. Yeah, it's never the same spot twice, oh. and it's yeah. different drivers because um, sometimes they go past they go past Schoolhouse Road and they let them off there. Sometimes he stops right in Schoolhouse Road. Sometimes he stops above it, but it's it's a hit or miss. He's actually going north the day that I. Oh. It was early in the morning, like seven oh. fifteen, and the car was on schoolhouse side, and he was on the other side, and I thought it was a real dangerous situation. <clears throat> oh, I can call as a. Yeah. Do you want to call? I'll just call as a community member, not as a select board member. I call as a select board member. Okay. Okay. Is there a dispute that yeah. he can call as a select board member? I would just ask yeah. them to make their transition up on top of the hill where the road. They can pull off. Rather right than flat right where Jack is, right, right where that pull off yeah. is. Right? Yeah. Cars can wait right okay. there for the people. Okay. So, so everyone all right with that? Mm -hmm. Good. So you can. Yeah. Thank that. you, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anything other correspondence for information that you'd like to discuss? Is the letter that's referenced here the one that was, in essence, a response to? You being accosted uh, two weeks ago. Me? Yeah, you were staring at somebody. Oh. I remember. Um, um, yeah, from that, Christine and Wayne White. Yes, they yeah. yes are, it is. That was saying that essentially they were satisfied to paraphrase and that things right. were much better than they used okay. to be. And that's what I thought. There was only just a couple people that were very unhappy about things. So okay, that's the one I read, read too. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Invitation to the West River Valley Business Interest Strengthening Meeting on the 15th. Um, I couldn't think of a whole lot of businesses to invite to that. I didn't know if J and B Auto would want to go, but I could. Um, Do you want me to send it to them and oh, AS Clark? Sure. Yes. yes. Okay. And AS Clark. That's good. Good idea. How about the store tiers if too. they're thinking of moving yeah. down closer to Route 30? Oh, that's a good idea. Right, right. Or, uh, yes, the Irving, Irving store, Lou's oh, yeah. the old store. store would, might want to know. Yeah. Can I ask who's sponsoring that meeting or who this group is? BDCC is the BDCC. It isn't, thank yeah. you. Okay. It's kind of a strange parallel because here we are trying to cut back on rural commercial on Route 30 yeah. and they're trying to encourage business on Route 30. So that's a. Uh, I'll send it to Nick Mercedes, too, for Maple Valley. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Maple Valley, but well, I didn't want it to be interpreted yeah. as a cruel joke, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if there's no, nothing else under correspondence for information, we'll move on to correspondence for discussion and more action. 
And we have a request from the Green Mountain Mummers to use the town common on 10, October 27th. <coughs> I would move that we approve that request mm -hmm. for the Green Mountain Mummers to use the town common on 10, 27, 13 at noon. Church will be over and people, most of them will be on their way, so. I second that. All right, discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, would you like to do this proposal from French and French to provide legal services to the town? It's intriguing. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, when we sat as a board, it was very impressive. I don't know that we have issues with what we have right. necessarily. Right. Maybe it's something we look into. I, I, I mean, I've always thought we've gotten good representation mm -hmm. Me too. with our existing, but it's certainly, I mean, certainly something we could keep on file if we find that we don't feel comfortable about. Sure. Right. I, I think it's pretty good right now. I also thought Jody French was, was good too. Good right? also. Mm -hmm. We have no complaints, but... Yeah, this is a little awkward for me because, of course, I work with all of them. Uh, um, and I think the world of Bob Fisher, I think that he is arguably the, you know, certainly one of the top municipal law attorneys in the state of Vermont. Um, but I was also very impressed with the work that Jody French did uh, on, um, on, I guess it was the tax exemption for the, uh, for the uh, learning, learning collaborative. Um, and um, yeah, I'd like to, yeah, I, 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 my, my preference would be if you were still working with Bob, but that's obviously not the case. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of concur with what you said. That you know, you know certainly I'm happy with it, you know, with our current situation. But if, I don't know if Bob gets too busy or if we get dissatisfied down the road. You know, we know where to turn. Mm -hmm. All right. See, do you have a current contract now with Fisher? I don't know if we have a no, contract. We don't have a contract. No, 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 no. No. Okay. So, um, so let's see. I guess I could write a letter just thanking them for their proposal and letting them know that we will keep it mm -hmm. um, under advisement. Uh -huh, sure. Yeah. So if that's what you are okay with, I'll do well, that. it might be wise uh, to contact our current attorney to see if they want to continue. I mean, they may not. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows something that we don't know. I don't know. Ideally, I think you probably have a contract. It's just because the town used to, but we haven't had one for several years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, something to consider. Would there be a substantial difference in the <clears throat> town cost between what Fisher charges and what French might charge? I believe so. There would be something fifty dollars an, fifty hour, an hour versus. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah. So oh, the difference is fifty dollars an hour. <coughs> right. Right. So you might keep your options open you know, if you're not ready to make a decision right now. But mm -hmm. think about that maybe with budget time or anything else. Mm -hmm. so there is something to be said to keep your existing attorney because right. he has all your prior yeah. information, and he's you know, and there would, mm -hmm. although she worked in that office, I, I would I just think we've got pretty good service and should stay here until we're unhappy. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. We may ask for another proposal and when we get past budget time for mm -hmm. from him. Right, we may want to look at this one. Um, the learning collaborative, yeah. Ferguson, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Trans Canada issues mm -hmm. are resolved. Uh, but no, I was just going to say, we do have some things going on. Yeah, yeah so what they call the time eye into the fire. Mm -hmm. That will probably be always the case, though, if and or when a slip board would ever choose to make a switch, if it did. Mm -hmm. So I, I would suggest that Zeke write some of the letter thanking him for that, but we kind of put it on our uh, thing ahead to look at maybe asking for proposals. Mm -hmm. I, I would be yeah. glad to call Bob and just say, Bob, uh, you know, we've had another request. Uh, um, 
before we respond, we just want to make sure that this is something that you want to continue yes, to, yes, to represent us. I that's exactly that's what I was hoping. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'd be glad to do that and maybe send you an email. Okay. That would be good. Um, yes, I think I have no <coughs> issues with um, Bob Fisher's work, so. All right. Um, so there's a request from the Recreation Board for advanced approval to purchase some soccer supplies. Does the select board control the money that the Recreation Board has um, now, even yes. though they've raised it privately? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we still would approve just like all the other ones. Okay. Yeah. In that case, then I would uh, move to approve the Recreation Board advance to purchase soccer supplies. I'd second that. Okay, discussion. I guess I have a, only have a little concern that we have a system for applying and we approve the warrant and mm -hmm. um, they must be against, I mean I, I thought we made it pretty clear in our interview two weeks ago that the request needs to come in, get approved and so I mean I, I, I just hope this isn't a continuing thing. I, no request um, came in? Well the letter came in as a, uh, what do I want to say Lori, it didn't come in as a bill to be paid right, for it approval, came, right, it's it was, a request in advance, in advance of making the purchases, rather than... So it's logistics you're concerned about. Right? Yeah, I just don't want next <clears throat> meeting that at noon time we get another request, rather than having it come through the same system like everybody else does. I'd just like to know when these, these supplies are supposed to be here. I mean, if soccer season's, what, half over or more than half over, and now all of a sudden we need these supplies right now? I'm coaching soccer or helping coach soccer, and... For, the, for the, one of the rec teams, and we've got plenty of balls, we've got a good net. I just mm. don't see. Well, I, I, I see. I, you know, uh, I wasn't here at the last meeting for appointments, but I would just. Myself, I think I caution on certain things. And um, it's nice to have new stuff all the time, and but. To the balls that we're using now, I think we've got 10, 15 balls there. They all look brand new to me. There's one one that looks used. Now, the younger kids, they use them, and I coached that last year, and we had two teams, and we didn't have issues with balls last year with that. We had nets. I see they did say one one set of nets was broken for the real young kids. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I just... I just see a lot of money going to start going out. Only with our approval. Right. That's why I'm. That's why I'm going to vote no to this. Oh, they're looking for shirts, gloves, mouth guards, boards, mouth guards, scrimmage pennies, heavy duty equipment heavy bag, disc cones, training markers, agility ladder, required, but whistles. But they want you know, it's, to it's not that I guess give, give them to the other yeah. kids. Apologies, our Steve. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Yeah, no, we, we were out of line, not you. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then the, then the other part that gets me on this is they have they have a rec team and they have a school team. The rec team is for fourth. Well, it, it actually starts in kindergarten, but they have this Putney tournament they're talking about. They need one hundred and fifty dollars for each team. Mm -hmm. They have a rec team and they have a school team. It's fourth, fifth, and sixth can join the rec team. There is no sixth graders on the rec team now. But for this Putney tournament, they've got one team of fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. But for this Putney team, for this Putney tournament, 
they decided they wanted to ask all the sixth graders to come play so they could put two teams together. Now, to me, if you're not participating in the rec thing, and you're just going to put a team together, I don't know if it's to, I mean, they're splitting the t kids up. But you, you're, now you're just bringing these kids in. There's not going to be any practice. It's just to get two teams into the tournament. There's no, there's, these sixth graders are now going to come down and just play with the fourth and fifth graders that have been playing as a team. They're just going to take them off the school team so we can have two teams go into this tournament. And I, I would think that you'd want the kids to practice with each other or be playing with each other to go into the tournament. I mean, it's... And then, of course, there's the trophies. I still don't think every kid, I mean, deserves a trophy for just participating in a sport. If you want to get them a certificate saying, you know, this child did soccer, that's one thing. But we, we spent a couple hundred dollars on trophies for each kid to get a trophy for soccer, and then, but not in none of the other sports. And even if it was for the other sports, I'd still say, Give them a certificate. My wife and I, we make up certificates for kids that play on our team. It, you know, that's what they get for baseball. We don't need trophies for every kid. I understand what one of the candidates said today, that, oh, they're, they're used to getting it. Oh, geez, you know, there's disappointments in life. And you, you're used to getting something. doesn't mean you're always going to get it, I hope. Because... Lewis, you talked about the uh, balls being new. I don't think they're asking for money for new balls, right? Yeah, what else are they asking money for? Oh, goalie, sh goalie shirts, gloves, uh, clipboards, scrimmage. Uh, it, I guess yeah. what I'm saying is the season's half over. When are they going to get this equipment and where is it going to go? Is it just going to sit in storage? I mean, if they're going to need it, why not take an inventory of this after soccer season, find out what you need, and then get it for next year because your season. I, I think your season's half over. This is Sarah. That, it's from yes. Sarah. Yeah. So we just appointed her. I think she's just getting her feet going she's getting up and running and getting things organized. I would say I would be support approving this and maybe working with her to let her know how to go about submitting, you know, requests in a timely way. Mm -hmm. Um, we might want to have them come in and she was on the board before she was on the board before issues that you brought up yeah. that she was on the board before and we had these same concerns. we had these same concerns back then when she was on the board before. <coughs> we kind of put her in that position though two exactly. weeks ago when she came in uh, she was saying that we're woefully disorganized right now and that's why people were coming forward being encouraged to come forward to join the board and try to iron this out, we more or less, I, I would say, encouraged her uh, to go back and see what kind of inventory they had. And, and so, you know, we're a little bit at fault for the request. Like I say, I think this is something that could Yeah, be I, I wouldn't say on. we're at fault. We've yeah. just, you know, here well, she is, she's yeah. coming in and she's saying, this is what we need. Um, if the yeah. planning board says they need some money for mapping, mm -hmm. you know, we've appointed them, and uh, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt while she gets this thing going. So I'll call the vote, and uh, if, if, unless there's more discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay. Let's see. There's but to follow up, it would be important for Lori just to visit with her about how she should proceed. That would be good. Would yep. you be willing to do that, Lori? Yes. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, there's a letter of interest from Alan McBean uh, to serve as an alternate <coughs> on the DRB. And we've had a letter from Eva Green. Uh, I spoke with Jack Lilly, and he would like to... Um, get another alternate on that board. Uh, of course, there is the bylaw that says uh, a DRB member should also, you know, serve on the planning commission or vice versa. And we don't have that option right now. The planning commission is full. Um, Jack's thought was we make an exception 
uh, we not try to... <laughs> no. Here, here's a DIB member trying to make an exception to him. <laughs> and, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the oh, gosh. Uh, make an appointment so they have um, a full slate. I remember specifically the meeting you chaired in the basement of the cemetery where the issue of overlap came up. Cemetery? Basement of the cemetery? And I'm a church. I said cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Freudian? <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, um, and one of the clear recommendations was that there be some better communication be among the organizations, the three organizations. And somebody else said, well, don't you already have that with somebody serving in both both places? So. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we're going do. Cindy Wilcox is on both still, right? No. 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 Oh, no, that's right. She was, no, that's no, right. We lost that. Yeah. 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 Well, I really... Oh, sorry. Oh, you're I, I, I don't... I really still don't see the need to have somebody on both. And I prefer not to have somebody on both. I'd rather have a DIB the Planning Commission, not somebody on board. And that's the sense of the Vermont League of Cities and Towns, isn't right. it? Right. I think I, they, no, it might be. I, I just think that's correct. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. Um, I think at least the current boards are making an effort to talk and um, so that liaison that they had uh, isn't as um, maybe isn't as important as it was at one time. Well, and Charlotte kind of acts as a liaison yes. as well as any administrator because she goes to both boards' meetings. Mm -hmm. So. And would you all refresh my memory? Um, haven't we already interviewed Emma Green? We uh, have, and, but uh, uh, Bill wasn't there. Right, right. And haven't we also interviewed Beth Tier? Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Well, for the other openings, right? Yeah, right. So we could see if she's still interested. If you want to go ahead with this, either that or we just let it go. Well, I, I had hoped that we could get our zoning changed before this became an issue, but things aren't moving that quickly on that end, so that's not going to happen. So I was hoping we could just change mm -hmm. right. zoning so that that didn't... Is it zoning or town plan? So, 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 so that that wasn't in there when we had our public hearing, right. that would be one thing we could address. But um, I know Alan spoke to the Planning Commission last night, uh, addressing septics and things, and he he could be a valuable asset to the town too. Well, I think you know, especially given his background, he was a, a zoning administrator. Yeah, you know, I would think that. You know, when you get an applicant like that and willing to volunteer their time, I think that we should at least interview it. Right. So, we're going against our own zoning to do it, so. Well, we're going against one of the bylaws, in, oh, yeah. which is something that we would have to put to a thing to change. Now, which bylaw is that? It's a bylaw that says there. Uh, the DRB should have a member that serves both on the DRB oh, and the Planning Commission. Okay. Uh, but isn't there more than one alternate position open? No. No, no just, just one, one alternate. Okay. okay. And we're hoping to resolve that gotcha. requirement before we... Mm -hmm. So it would open it up so more people could apply or whatever. But, you know, my sense is that both positions are pretty demanding, and uh, yeah, I'm inclined to agree with Lewis and the uh, and, and the Vermont League of Cities and Towns, and you know maybe we need to amend the bylaw. Right. Right. So we'd have to ask the Planning Commission, I think, to do that. Have a hearing. Do it. They'd send it to us. We'd have a hearing, public comment. Um, so we'd probably be looking if they put it on the fast track. You know, um, <laughs> no, sorry. Again. Stop it's unfortunate because they just handed us the uh, Route Five and yeah. Route Thirty and a few changes already. Mm -hmm. But that's on the town plan, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess it was. 
It's too bad we couldn't have got this one zoning change dealt with at the same time. What are your thoughts? Go ahead and do it in. You know, it would almost be interesting to do that just to see who comes out and complains about it. And who doesn't. <laughs> just to see where, where it sits. Yeah, it's been a little quiet around here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I could, because, I mean, it really, it, it's a, just a little gray area, so I think we ought to mm -hmm. do that, says a DIB member. And right, I, I, I agree with you. I think um, aside from it being quiet around nothing, nothing to mediate lately, um, I think um, where the chair of the DRB has asked that we uh, do this, I guess he was away, but put. Right, right. and I just got back from a couple of weeks yeah, in Italy. Yeah, so, so I, I go ahead. Why don't we, should we interview? Ask if the other candidates you haven't heard. So no, I haven't. <clears throat> so we could see if they're still interested. Invite them all to, you know, uh, listen to them. Do you want to do you want to invite them to the next meeting? What's your pleasure, gentlemen? Yes. Sure. Yeah, I think it's only fair to them. It's been some time now, yeah. and um, you know, I think we get a better sense of who we can chat with all three of them at the same time. Okay, Lewis, what do you think? Well, you know, I I just thought it would be interesting. I didn't say I really wanted to <laughs> go against the. Uh, <laughs> the so, it's uh, uh, pretty hard to get your stir out of the paint now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <out of> paint, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sort of going to pay for me. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I don't want to interrupt you. No, no, don't you. Um, um, you know, the, the DRB chairman has asked us to fill the spot. We, I think it would be a reasonable request. I think the discussion that we had that night, there was some people that wanted uh, an active member on both boards, and there was some that didn't. So I think we could float that ship and see if mm -hmm. the planning commission would would change zoning and... I think if the Planning Commission and the DRB members are willing to sort of act, you know, communicate with each other, not rely on the liaison, it makes that <coughs> person less, that, and that bylaw less critical. So I'd say there, uh, I'd say we're because you're asking a person to write the bylaw and enforce the bylaw too, which always sort of bothered me. Gail Sorensen. Yes, I, I think if you want to make a change, there's a process mm -hmm. of you directing the planning commission to go ahead and institute the steps necessary. Mm -hmm. I don't see any problem with interviewing the people um, so that you're prepared when and if the time comes. But to pick and choose which parts of the zoning bylaw you're going to support and not after the fact, mm -hmm. I don't think that's a good practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I think that's uh, wise counsel. I would say to interview them, uh, given the you know, process of changing the bylaw, um, there's a good chance. You know, we only have, you know, the, mo the best we have for the longest is a three year term. And so, we could interview people, and um, you know, there's only his, you know, the historical memory. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Institutional memory might not be sufficient <laughs> to when the bylaw is finally changed, or if it's changed, to. Um, there's you know, no I'm, I'm 60. I don't. <laughs> You know, huh? yeah, well, like really 70, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's but, no reason why the Planning Commission at its next meeting really couldn't act on this um, and set it then for a public hearing and take those steps and move it right along. There really could be, if you look at all the deadlines, mm -hmm. and that would be a very simple process. And putting these three candidates in front of the public, maybe the public would see this and, and 
come in and you'll get your hue and cry <laughs> against or in favor of. Who knows? Although I doubt it. But All it could right. happen. So we have two proposals. One to go ahead and the other to give the, the plan commission doesn't really have anything to do now that they've finished with the corridor study, so give them something to do. <coughs> Definitely. I would definitely get a hold of the Planning Commission immediately and see if okay. they would consider changing the How's this side of the room? Oh, I yeah. agree. And okay. that being said, I don't think we should line up the interviews till we no. hear back from the Planning right. Commission. Okay. Because we'll forget the interviews. And we've interviewed Ava two or three times already. Yeah, so. Jeff, yeah. So. so, Zeke, do you want to respond to Alan and let him know that? Yes. Thank you. I will. Um, okay. I'll actually respond to the other two people that were interested, let them know. And I'll um, let the uh, planning chair know that, well, I guess I could have a motion to request. So I'll move that Zeke contacts the planning, the chairman of the planning commission to discuss changing the zoning bylaw requirement that one person serves on the, both boards. And uh, we don't need a motion though to, for you to invite contact. people. For right, yeah. I'll just right. make the motion right. that you contact the planning commission. I second that. Okay. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. I'll do that. <coughs> All right. Um, unfinished business. Um, we, the health insurance uh, changes. We uh, uh, voted a, an amount. And the carrier, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we could discuss um, the issue of an HRA or any further um, um, uh, elaborate on the health insurance, but we're under no pressure now. We could wait until we actually get into the budget process. And, decide whether we're going to have an HRA contribution or do we like mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, if we're not under pressure, I think that should be part of our budget discussion. I thought the HRA contribution came from the insurance company. No. No? No. That would be money that the town, uh, we have had an HRA um, at one point where um, the town contributed a certain amount of money which covered the deductible and out-of-pocket expenses. Okay. And in an HRA, the money um, stays with the town if it's not used. I see, okay. So, Yeah, it's, of course, this is all new. And we've, uh, in our office, we've just been dealing with you know, getting all this information out to all of our employees. And I think there's like 16 different plans. And it's, mm -hmm. Has all everybody heard, been doing this? Has all not just your office, Joe. Oh, everybody's yeah. doing this. I, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. But there is a... There are certain plans where I think if you do certain wellness activities, you get about three hundred dollars back. I thought those were HRAs, but I guess maybe I'm mistaken. I think our discussion was: Are we going to go with a with a plan where when the employee leaves the town, the money goes with them, or if an employee leaves was, the town, then the money stays with us? So wasn't that, Lori, what we were talking about? Um, that was last year, yes. but this year we can't do a health savings, it would be a health savings account where the money goes with the employee, okay. and we but can't that's do not that an anymore. option right okay. now. That was what we were talking about right. a month ago or something, right? Yep. So our discussion last at our last session was um, trying to come up with a plan and amount that was comparable to what they are getting right. now. So. So I think the budget process would be the time to do that, and I th would be my would thought. Yes, I think too. Okay. For further discussion on this would be, right, if that's my opinion. Um, so new business, we have um, a candidate um, for the recreation board. I I'd like to see Lewis make that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move that we. Don't appoint, no, we, <laughs> that we appoint a Melody Chamberlain to the Eric no. Board. I'll second that. All right, discussion? I'm still going to vote no. <laughs> All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 <coughs> right. um, oh, I'm going to 
recuse myself from this one. This is a um, uh, permit request for Whetstone Cider Works um, to pour their hard cider at the uh, dinner that's going to be at the Scott Farm. And although I've only been allowed to park cars there in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what financial reward are you reaping from them? Well, I don't know. I, I, they might um, let me in this year. Oh, well, no. there's a new administration there, so. Um, I think if you just disclosed you work there, that would be sufficient and you could participate. But. Well, if this is hard cider, do we need to be uh, closing this meeting and uh, take on our liquor commission? Yes, right? yes, yes, we would. Yes. Okay. So, so do we get a motion for that? So moved. Second. Okay, we are now uh, operating as the Liquor Commission. Oh, we had a vote first. Oh, yes. I thought. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Opposed. There. Now we're at the Liquor Commission. Um, Need a motion? Or do you want to wait? Um, what, what's your sense? <clears throat> Happy to recuse myself if you, anyone thinks it's a conflict. Are you financially benefiting directly? Uh, no. No. You disclose you work there. I mean, it's a cash money. bar. I have to pay. <laughs> uh, I was trying to find the but application. But it's free? How do I get an invitation? <laughs> you do no. oh, Nobody bought my vote this time. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, Whetstone Cider Works, that's Jason Arthur and his wife, looking to serve uh, hard cider at that dinner that takes place sometime later this month, October 26th. Do we have a meeting that night? Oh, okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the nine o'clock filling, so. Oh. Yes. I'll move we approve the application for Whetstone Cider Works for the 26th. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We passed. Is there any other business to come from? Oh, let me start. Motion to adjourn the list. Somebody at you wear the. I know. Okay. Can't keep them straight. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Now we're back at the select board. And you do have other business. The information that came over from the planning commission? Yes, that's right. In. Thank you. I knew there was a reason why we had you come here. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason. <laughs> Thanks. Did you say this? Um, okay, so uh, the Planning Commission had a hearing, public hearing on the corridor uh, issues, Route 30, Route 5. They sent their recommendations to us. We, um, uh, not before 30 days, but not, no later than 120 days, uh, must have a public hearing on this. Um, and act on it. We can, uh, if we were to revise it significantly, it might have to go back to the planning board. But uh, since it's not actually on our agenda, I was thinking at our next meeting we put it on the agenda and set. And it. Sam Farwell wants to come to your next meeting to talk to you about it. All right. Um, and we might at that meeting set a time for a public hearing. That's a great idea. I got the email uh, late this afternoon, saw that it had a couple of attachments with it, didn't have time, and I will again protest people sending us things on the day of a meeting and expecting um, that it's gone over in the way that it should be gone over. Yes, that's a so, thoughtful legislator would, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how thoughtful. <clears throat> uh, the other thing is we received the Renewal application for VLCT property and casualty insurance. I'm going to scan this and email it out to I, you all. I don't recall seeing that. No, because it was on Pam's desk. She was working on the comparisons. Uh, uh. <laughs> They've um, changed some of the valuations. For instance, the highway garage 
Last year was valued at four hundred ten thousand four sixty one. It, this year, it's gone up to one million one hundred eleven thousand five hundred four. I'm sorry. What were those numbers again, Mark? Like? Four ten, four sixty one, up to one million one eleven five hundred four. And when I picked myself up off the floor, I asked them to um, send me over the cost sheets that is their that, appraiser used. Is that because of the equipment in the building? Or no, the equipment or just is the building. That's the guaranteed replacement cost. They're they're appraisal guaranteed. Mm -hmm. They haven't so. been subjected to that in the past. In other words, that seems to be the way these days, but it's been that way for some time. Replacement cost. Right. Scam for the insurance companies to make more money. What was that? Well, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scam. Oh, okay. Rich didn't get that. What was that again? <laughs> for rich or for poor. That's, rather, that's quite an increase. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I'm surprised We've, um, they missed that before. That was plus. Right. So Pam's done up a spreadsheet with the um, valuations for the past 10 years. And so we were missing 2009 through 2011, so we've called to ask them to send those to us. Um, so I hope to have it for you early next week, and I'll email it out to you. And then it just needs to be signed at the next meeting. Virtually three times. Yeah. Why don't we, the crew, yeah. we could, I mean, if it's worth that much, we could sell it and then build a new garage. <laughs> and we could. have money left over. We would. Yeah. We would. Um, mm. Mm. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, is there any other business to come before this board? Um, no? I don't think we need to go into a, any executive session. Mm -hmm. no. I've been trying to visit with Corey on the uh, gravel pit hearing that we're going to have to have. But mm -hmm. Okay. I went over and took a look. Was, they've done a lot of work over yeah. there. It's amazing how small that looks now compared to when it was woods and we were traipsing in there all the yeah. time. When it's up. bared out, yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing. I was actually working over at Popular Commons when they were starting and starting to <clears throat> screen, and, and there was a little backup noise, beeper noise when they were right up on top, but it, it really was, I thought, relatively decent. When we did the testing over there, the sound testing, the highway traffic yeah. Yeah. noise was, was louder than that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In every location. It was amazing. But we'll see. Um, I was just going to ask, are you planning to go to the Motley of Cities and Towns meeting up at Pillington? Uh, we had to sign up yeah. by Friday, right? Okay. I think there's one more, so you only get three, right? Three. One, two, three. Yeah, there's one near the yeah. top, another one near the top. Oh. Oh. No, I had hoped Tricky. to go, but I um, guess my work schedule didn't allow me. I'd sign it all, but... Well, I am going. I was just going to, you know, it would make sense to be cardinal if anybody else wanted to go. I went last year, um, and sure. I, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. Well, yes. I move that we adjourn. Second. All right. <laughs> All those in favor. Aye. Uh,